Hey everyone, welcome back to EMTV. My name is Alex Like, and today I thought we'd talk about the H's and T's, otherwise known as the reversible causes of cardiac arrest. Now the H's and T's are the often overlooked reversible causes of cardiac arrest that you should be considering any time you're working on a patient who's needing CPR. There are five H's and five T's. The five H's are hypovolemia, hypoxia, hydrogen ion acidosis, hypo and hyperkalemia, and hypothermia. The five T's are tension pneumothorax, cardiac tamponade, toxins, coronary thrombosis, and pulmonary thrombosis. Treating hypovolemia means replacing the fluid that's been lost. Often this can be IV fluids like normal saline in the cases of vomiting or diarrhea, but it may involve the use of whole blood. Hypoxia is important to recognize and treat as a potential cause of cardiac arrest, especially in children. So make sure you're maintaining adequate oxygenation and ventilation status throughout your patient care. Hydrogen ion acidosis can be caused by a variety of different factors. Oftentimes, Hydrogen ion acidosis can be reversed by using a buffering agent such as sodium bicarb, as well as the administration of IV fluids. Hypo and hyperkalemia are treated either with potassium in the case of hypokalemia or through a very complex cascade of medication protocols in use for hyperkalemia. Medications used in that protocol include things like insulin, k calcium, D50, Lasix, or other loop diuretics, and even albuterol. For the pre-hospital care provider, treatment for hyperkalemia or suspected hyperkalemia often is limited as you may not have all of these medications with you in your ambulance. Hypothermia is treated through rewarming, and this can be either done using blankets and environmental changes as in changing the temperature of the inside of your unit, or they may be as advanced as instilling warmed IV fluids. For your T's, tension pneumothorax is best treated by using needle decompression in the field, replacement of a chest tube or pigtail catheter in the emergency department. Cardiac tamponade is relieved by performing a pericardiocentesis. As there are so many different kinds of toxins out there that a patient can potentially expose themselves to to cause cardiac arrest, it's always a good idea to contact poison control prior to treatment. However, Common causes of cardiac arrest related to toxins are things like opioids, prescription medications, etc. So it's good to know a few overdose medications, such as naloxone in the case of our opioid overdose, such as glucagon in the case of a beta blocker overdose, such as sodium bicarb in the case of a TCA overdose, etc. etc. Coronary thrombosis and pulmonary thrombosis in the field cannot be treated definitively. However, in the hospital, the administration of TPA or other thrombolytic agents sometimes is indicated in the event of a cardiac arrest where the suspected cause is either a coronary or pulmonary thrombosis. All right, I hope this helped. Until I see you next, have a good rest of your night.